Hello friends, welcome to engineering tutorial. So today we are going to uh, resume our discussion on uh, the subject of fluid mechanics and hydraulic machines. So it's been a while since I have posted a video related to this subject and uh, I think so far I have uh, uploaded 5 or 6 videos, basic introductory videos related to this topic. So we are going to again uh, continue our discussion. So we will be continuing with the fluid properties uh, discussion. So far we discussed about viscosity and various other properties such as specific gravity, weight density we have already discussed. Okay. So in today's video we are going to discuss about fluid properties, uh, bulk modulus and compressibility. Also we will discuss about uh, how the volume or density of a fluid is affected by surrounding parameters, okay, pressure and temperature, okay. So here the relationship between volume, the volume or density of a fluid the same thing because mass is constant mass by volume so whenever there will be a change in volume there will be a change in density so the relationship between volume pressure and temperature it is very important how the volume of a fluid in turn the density is affected by surrounding pressure and surrounding temperature so the volume or density of fluids it depends on the surrounding pressure and temperature. Now fluids they get compressed okay, when pressure is applied on them, when they are pressurized. So they get compressed as a result of which the volume decreases and when the pressure is removed again they expand, volume increases. Now with temperature, when fluids are heated, that is temperature increases, they expand, okay, volume increases and when temperature is lowered or it cools down, the heat is removed, then they contract, volume decreases. Now we will try to understand these two relationship relationship of volume with pressure and volume with temperature with the help of uh, two such principles okay so here the change of volume it is different for different fluids you no know, different fluids have different properties so they will exhibit different change of volume with respect to the change in pressure and change in temperature so there are two such parameters, two such properties that can be used to express these two, you know, behavior of fluids, okay, the change in volume with respect to pressure and temperature. So the first one is bulk modulus of elasticity and the second one is the coefficient of volume expansion. First one is related with pressure, second one with temperature. Okay, so compressibility of fluids with pressure. So compressibility is the property of a fluid by virtue of which they, you know, undergo a change in volume. Their volume changes, as I said, when pressure is applied, they get compressed. When pressure is removed, they expand. Okay, so under the action of external pressure, the change in volume in result the change in density brought about that is because of the property of compressibility of fluids so compressibility is represented in terms of the reciprocal of another parameter which is bulk modulus of elasticity okay compressibility is the reciprocal of bulk modulus of elasticity so in order to understand bulk modulus of elasticity, let us consider 
that we have a cylinder which contains a certain volume of gas now this is the uh, initial condition when a certain amount of pressure is being applied and the volume of gas inside the cylinder is this initial pressure initial volume now suppose the pressure on the gas is increased with the help of this piston arrangement the pressure is increased by a factor let's say dp this causes a decrease in the volume of the gas contained in the cylinder it is getting compressed so let us say that the decrease in volume in the gas of the cylinder because of this externally applied pressure is dv so there is a decrease in volume that's why the final volume is v capital v minus dv dv is the decrease in volume because of the externally applied pressure so bulk modulus of elasticity can be expressed as the increase in pressure okay the pressure increase that is dp the ratio between the increase in pressure dp and the volumetric strain that is the change in volume divided by the initial volume that is the volumetric strain and it is negative because there is a decrease in volume that's why the negative sign and another important thing to remember is that here temperature is constant it is considered as constant just for the analysis purposes in real life situations it is never that the temperature will remain constant or the pressure will remain constant both may keep uh, you know keep changing so for now to understand this property you just uh, we are keeping the temperature as constant okay so this is the bulk modulus of elasticity so it is the ratio between the applied externally applied pressure on a fluid and the resultant volumetric strain produced so the elasticity of fluids how the degree of compression it is measured in terms of bulk modulus of elasticity so this is the first property that relates the change in volume or density of fluids with respect to pressure the second one that is coefficient of volume expansion so the volume of fluids it uh, actually depends strongly or it is strongly affected by the surrounding temperature and this uh, relationship is more prominent more strong as compared to uh, that with pressure so the variation of this volume or density of fluids with temperature that is responsible for various natural phenomena which occurs such as the ocean currents the tides in the ocean currents smoke rising in chimneys you may have, may have noticed that at a certain height the smoke disperses so that uh, the, there are uh, certain design considerations also which are taken into account uh, wind the blowing of winds wind formation uh, all of that uh, meteorological things they actually depend on this Uh, variation of density of fluids with temperature so how this happens so for example let us say again we are considering a gas contained in a cylinder which is at a certain initial volume v and temperature capital t that is the initial volume and initial temperature suppose this gas is heated and there is a increase in the temperature by a factor dt because of this increase in temperature or heating the gas expands causing the piston to move upwards and let's say the increase in the volume of the gas be dv so the coefficient of volume expansion it can be expressed as beta which is the again the same thing here minus dv by d which was in the denominator here it is plus dv by v why because there is an increase in the volume okay the increase in the volume divided by the change in temperature 
so it is the volumetric strain divided by the change in temperature dv by v the change in volume divided by the initial volume divided by the change in temperature here pressure is constant here pressure is constant so always remember in case of bulk modulus temperature is constant dp by minus dv by d change in pressure divided by the volumetric strain negative sign because volume is getting decreased in case of coefficient of volume expansion it is dv by b volumetric strain positive sign because volume is getting increased upon increase in temperature divided by the change in temperature pressure is constant okay so these are the two important parameters properties uh, which can be used to express the variation of the density of fluids or volume of fluids with respect to pressure and temperature so i hope you like this video and uh, please subscribe my channel engineering tutorial for more such videos related to engineering science and technology have a great day thank you very much